Hey guys, so it is Sunday 30th of April, and I am leaving the Doyle. Uh, got in around 5.15 yesterday. Um, had a really good time here, actually. Uh, so the Doyle is kind of infamous on the AT for being really, uh, for being really, uh, like, bad. Uh, but I really had no problem with it. It was... I mean, I've stayed at a lot of like international hostels. Uh, it was kind of on par with some of like the more shady ones that I've stayed there. So, and you even get your own room, so it's not even that bad. Um, and the staff was really nice. Uh, Miss Vicky was really funny. So, I mean, it's not it's not nice. It's not great, but I you know it's uh, really not all that bad either. I wouldn't hesitate staying there at all on a through hike and then also the uh, food and everything is all really well priced there too so that was really awesome I was expecting some uh, higher priced items so um, the, uh, yeah and then uh, met there was just me and two other through hikers there last night so really really quiet and then uh, just met with a lot of different town people and some people starting section hikes uh, that were staying elsewhere but eating at the Doyle. So that was really nice. And then this morning I uh, went across the street where there's like a breakfast diner, really good pan uh, waffle. And then also met with a uh, guy that I've been seeing in the logbook, uh, Jekyll. Really cool guy. I'll probably see him again today because he started out um, before me. And then I met with another uh, guy starting a section hike. He's getting shuttled down to Harper's Ferry. And uh, just kind of helped him do a shakedown of all his stuff. So it's actually really cool to be at that point where I can like confidently give shakedowns to people. And uh, not just be uh, talking from what I've read online, but from my actual experience. So it's kind of cool to be regarded as a quasi-expert. <laughs> so... Um, so that was really neat. It always, you know, feels good to help people out, especially yesterday. I was thinking, you know, after getting that trail magic yesterday and then, uh, being able to kind of turn around and help him out, shave a few pounds off his gear. So it just feels good. Uh, the plan today, so, um, there's two shelters, one like five miles out and one 11, one 11 miles out. Uh, I'm definitely going past the one that's five miles out. That's a no-brainer. However, uh, the one that's... I don't even know if this is the best place to be on, honestly. But the one that's five miles out, or 11 miles out, I'm not doing that one either. Uh, I might, but I'm planning on to go in like 20 today, which I'm only starting an hour later than yesterday. So we'll see what happens with that. And, uh, I mean, I'll probably make it. I made 25 by 5.15 yesterday. And I'm planning for 23, starting an hour later. And still have some relatively flat but rocky terrain. So I'll probably make it in by like 7-ish. Which isn't too much of an issue. Yeah. <laughs> I bet this isn't the right street for the AT. I bet you it's over that way. To my left. But it all goes to the same place. So, um, anyways, I guess I'll check my guidebook. Because I have not seen a white blaze in a while. <laughs> and they're usually on these telephone poles. But yeah, that's the plan. Either 11 or 20. So, I'll check in with y'all later. Hey guys, so it's 10:15, uh, And I think we've done the climb for the most part uh, out of Dunk Cannon. So now uh, this is looking on the other side of the ridge line. Duncan is behind us. Uh, yeah, looks like this is what we got for the, probably the whole day. <laughs> so on this ridge line. Uh, another thing that I realized is uh, not a whole lot of water today, at least for the first like half or two thirds. So uh, like we dip down into one valley and there's a lot of water there. But uh, other than that, there's really not a whole lot happening. So, have to make it 
we'll have to make it to the shelter and then from there or from here it's like 17 or 16 miles or no, I think it's just 13 13 miles to uh, the next water source is this the trail? yeah I guess so oh, so many mosquitoes out too So I'm here at Peter's Mountain Shelter, um, and it looks really nice. It's uh, two stories. It's fully like roofed out, a uh, picnic table inside it. Not sure how great that is. <clears throat> um, yeah, it just looks really cool. Um, de de definitely something different, which again, I like seeing in the shelter. It's not just a three-sided log cabin. Uh, water's point two away. Supposedly it's not that reliable though. Um, but yeah, it's uh, pretty easy getting here too. The rocks of Pennsylvania haven't started yet. So hopefully they'll hold off till. I'm, I've heard for multiple times that it starts at 401 shelter. So uh, hopefully it'll hold off till then, which I'll hit possibly tomorrow. So um, other than that though, it's just shy of 2 o'clock. Um, we have a decent amount of space to go still today, um, but we'll get it done. No big deal. It's just walking. <laughs> so, so anyways, uh, I'll check in with y'all later. Hey guys, I'm just coming out of the gap with Pennsylvania 325. It is five o'clock. Um, so. We'll probably hit the campsite a little after seven. So like, cause we have about six more miles left. Also, uh, man, I did something like 17 miles with just one liter of water, which is crazy. Uh, man. It's been a, it's been a day already. I'm definitely ready to get into camp, but still have a while to go. Still have a thousand foot climb to do too. So that's uh, which is about what I'm just uh, about to start doing. Um, I don't really know what else to say. It's just really been like this all day, except for I've been about a thousand feet higher. Huh? What's that? I guess that blue thing's the trail or something. I don't know. That's weird. Oh, it's part of a pipeline. Okay, gotcha. Well, anyways, I mean, it has still, it's still not too rocky, thankfully. There were some sections uh, that I've had this morning that, you know, I've been just like anything else I've seen, but it's not for more than like, you know, a mile or anything beyond that. So really barely even half a mile of like frustrating rocks so again I think it kind of starts in a day or two or tomorrow I don't know but uh, anyways just going at it and then hopefully uh, we'll just get to camp at a decent time <laughs> don't really know what else to tell y'all <sighs> I figured I'd just let y'all see the trail a little bit. Hey guys, it is May 1st. May. Awesome. Uh, I'm leaving Yellow Springs campground. Uh, Got in just around 7.30ish, I think. Seven, yeah, 7.30, I guess. Uh, just as it started to uh, get dark, the sun was already past one of the other ridges, so I didn't have much daylight. Uh, there was two other 
tents there, uh, three other people total. Uh, but they were already pretty much trying to go to sleep. So I just set up real quick, ate, and then did the same. So, messed up pretty good. There was some uh, small little animal kind of rustling around that night. Uh, it didn't bother me too much. One of the other guys said he got pretty close to his tent. But, uh, just woke up a few times. And then it started raining at some point during the night. It's just kind of been like this, so nothing too, the only th it's not too consistent. It's just like big fat drops uh, that hardly come down, so. Anyways, today's plan is to do uh, 22 miles to 401 shelter. So, we're getting an earlier start today by about an hour, so that should help out. Uh, and hopefully the water situation won't be as bad. It's still gonna, there's still a long stretch, but today I think we'll be prepared, so. Anyways, that's the plan for today. Hopefully, there's a, a hostel that I can, uh, get in contact with. It's like a church hostel. And supposedly they'll, like, put you up and feed you and give, give you a bunk for, uh, ten dollars so I'm gonna try but you have to call so they can like you know be prepared for you so I tried calling yesterday twice and uh got no response I didn't have service last night uh, so I gotta kind of hike a little bit to get closer to some road or something so I can figure out if they got my message or not if not I'll just camp at the shelter the shelter itself has like a solar shower and everything. It's one of those nicer ones. So, uh, you know, and I still have an extra day of food to get me to uh, Port Clinton if I need to. It would just be nice to stay in a hostel though, especially one that's $10. Yes, yeah, so that's the plan. And then that's the side plan. So, we're plan B as they say. So anyways, uh, there's a shelter up here about five miles. I think it's like Rosh Gap or Rosh C Creek. I don't know, but I'll uh, probably check in with y'all there. Hey guys, I'm just past uh, Rosh Gap shelter, and it's only uh, 9.30. Uh, I was actually there like five minutes ago or past it. I didn't go to the shelter. But yes, we're making great time. Uh, the trail's still, it's just this really nice... Uh, Really flat, well graded trail. Uh, I know, I think it's tomorrow that that should change <laughs> for the worse. This is about as good as it gets on the AT right here. Uh, but yeah, so the plan right now is uh, it's only 9.30, so I'm just gonna go a little bit further. Uh, I usually take a break around 10 have another uh, snack, like a second breakfast almost. And uh, so I'll do that. If I wanna get kinda closer to 10, it kinda helps even out my stomach a little bit. I don't like to do it too early or too late. So. Yeah, so, uh, which basically we'll just hit that in like a mile or so. And then there's also a water source right by there too, so. It's all gonna work out really nicely. And uh, since we passed uh, Rosh Gap Shelter, it means we've already got five miles done today, which I think the plan today is like 22 or something, like 22, 24, somewhere around there. I forget. I mean, I'll just go till I get there. But uh, we've already got five of that done, so we're almost like a quarter of the way done for the day. So. And then by lunchtime, we'll be like halfway done, roughly. Uh, so it's always really nice to be close to halfway done during lunch. Yesterday at lunchtime, I think I had like 16 miles left or something like that, which is a, uh, it's not fun to look in your guidebook and see that. But 
Anyways, I guess we go. I guess we go. Oh, yeah, there's. Yeah. I guess we could have gone either way. Oh man, my ankle just went right into a tree. Oh, oh, that hurt. Okay, yeah, we could have gone either way, but the blazes told us that way. So, yeah, start walking along this for a little bit, and then we'll kind of hit that creek. So, I'll check in with y'all later. Hey guys, so I'm crossing a sword uh, creek. I think is how you say it. I uh, just had lunch here. Yeah, you know, ate up on the bridge. Pretty nice. A uh, good little breeze coming across here, too. Uh, I thought about going into Lickdale for lunch, but I figured I'd have lunch with me. No sense. And uh, relying on a hitch to get in and out and all that. So, um, I also talked to some section hikers. They said Fjord, Law, Snap, and Carpenter. Uh, they're all just a few. I think they said... They're just a few days ahead of me, so I checked Instagram, and sure enough, uh, they were at 4 or 501 shelter last night, uh, which is where I'll be tonight. So I've shaved it down from two days to one day if I make it to where I'm trying to get to tonight. And just we'll have to see how far they go today. Um, yeah, it's it's one o'clock right now, so we're just the uh, we have about 12 miles left, I think, which is a nice, easy uh, coast into the campsite, assuming the terrain's pretty good. I could have thrown my trash out here. Only for... Okay. Yeah, and then... I would have an uphill, though. That's the only thing, but... It's not too much of an uphill. How's it going? There's a look at the bridge we just crossed. But yeah, this is a, the sun just came out too. It's been cloudy all morning. So uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Now all the bugs are gonna come out too. So also I had to uh, take care of some business. I got called up for jury duty uh, here in like two weeks. My parents uh, like texted me some pictures of like the letter and all that, so I had to call the jury duty office. And it took like three times, because uh, the first two times it kept trying to send me to like some automated system, and then you have to like punch in a date that you prefer to be recalled or something like that. And it it was just not a good system at all. Uh, so like eventually I got through. Um, to an actual person and once I did it was like two minutes of talking explaining that I'm hiking the Appalachian Trail and I'm not available and in which case they just uh, deferred me and then she even told me she's like yeah I'll just defer you to September and that way when you start college in September you can just claim you know a student deferment or whatever so looks like I'm saved from that not like I do want to serve on jury duty it's just it's never a convenient time <laughs> so which I guess no one ever really plans to serve on jury duty but whatever so now uh, yeah we just got across I-81 is to our left we just got to cross under that and then we got a big old uphill section to do so I'll check in with y'all later